know I think they like me. Yo, am I white? No, 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 baby, so so much don't miss some fights. Hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is count common words with one occurrence in this question we are given two string arrays word 1 and words 2 we have to find out the number of words which appear exactly once in each of the two arrays so let's take a look at this example so in this question we are given two arrays words 1 and words 2 as you can see in this example lead code occurs once this appears twice amazing appears once and as appears once to start off with the logic let us iterate to the words one and fill the hash map so the hash map for the words one will contain these values lead code is the key and the value is one and similarly for is and amazing and also as here as you can see lead code appears once and amazing appears once and also as appears once so these are the three words which qualify as of now we have to check if these three words also appear in the words to array to check that let's iterate through the words to array and decrement the value in the map for each word in the iteration so let's iterate through the words array the first word is amazing amazing is present inside the map with value one so you have to decrement the value by one so amazing now contains zero the second word in the words to array is lead code which is also present inside the map here with value equal to 1 we have to decrement its value by 1 so now lead code contains 0 this is also present inside the map but its value is 2 we have to decrement its value by 1 now it contains 1 and that is the end of the words to array now the new values present inside the maps are 0 is now contains 1 amazing now contains 0 and as has 1 now the answer for us is that we have to count the number of zeros present inside the map so lead code and amazing are the two words which appear only once in both the array is this also appearing in both the arrays here and here but they have mentioned that we have to check for the words which appear exactly once here is this appearing twice so it does not qualify so you can ignore this so to check for the values 0 we have to iterate through the words 1 array so let's iterate through the words 1 array lead code is the first word present in the words 1 array and we have to get its frequency using the get method in the map and we have to check if its frequency is 0 since its frequency is 0 we have to maintain a count variable which is initially 0 now whenever it encounters a 0 as value inside the map we increment the count variable the second word inside the words 1 array is this you have to check if the value of this is equal to 0 but its value is equal to 1 so you don't increment the count array the third word is amazing which has value equal to 0 inside the map so you increment count so now count contains 2 similarly for as you have to check if as is containing 0 but it's containing 1 so you don't increment count and finally is which we have already checked so you don't increment count so the final answer is 2 so you return 2 as the answer there you have it you are getting 2 as the output so let's implement these steps in a java program let's start off by creating a hash map the key is a string right which is the word and the value is an integer i'm going to name it map now let's iterate through the words one array Now we have to check if the element at the ith index position in the words one array is present inside the map as key. So if map dot contains key of words one of i, then we have to put that word inside the map and increment its frequency by one. So map dot put words one of i map dot get of words 1 of i plus 1 and in the else part which means that that word is not present inside the map so you put its frequency as 1 now coming to the second step of iterating through the words to array and checking if that word is present inside the map if it is present we have to decrement its frequency by 1 now that we have iterated through the words to array Let's check if that word is present inside the map. If map dot contains key of word, 
now we have to check if the frequency of that word is less than or equal to one if map dot get of word is less than or equal to one then we have to decrement its frequency by one map dot put of word map dot get of word will get its current frequency and decrement it by one here we are only checking for the words which has its frequency less than or equal to one so in this case is appears twice right so you can directly ignore is you don't have to decrement it by one because if there is one more is present inside the words array it will become zero and you'll get is as the output too but we have to ignore is because we have mentioned clearly that exactly once so if is this again present inside the words to array you will get the final count of is as zero and that will also be printed as the output for that we are checking for only less than or equal to one now that we have decremented the values we have to check for those values which are equal to zero so let's maintain a counter now let's iterate through the words one array string word words one now let's get its frequency for this word so if map dot get of word is equal to zero so if the frequency of the word is equal to zero we have to increment count so this will happen for all the words present inside the words one array like i explained and it will give the final count of the words which have value equal to zero now finally you can return count now let's run the program there you have it we're getting the expected output let's submit the code there you have it our solution has been accepted that's it guys that's the end of the program thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one